right, so today's video, what we're doing is testing, uh, bench testing a trigger off an inline six. And this is for the uh, ADI ignition that came out um, 1979 and pretty much ran all the way down to 1988 to the, the last year of the inlines. And uh, basically the, the, the functionality, all this does is send a pulse to the uh, switch box and tells it when to fire. So depending on the position of the flywheel, is when it sends that pulse, and that's what uh, gives you your firing sequence of the cylinder. Um, see the see the top uh, fires the odd cylinder, the bottom fires the even the even cylinder. So that's how that works. So in this test, um, basically I just have your uh, basic standard meter here, and I have it set to the uh, the horseshoe or the, uh, the ohm setting. And what we're looking for is basically 800 to 1400 ohms of resistance uh, between between you always go from the yellow sleeve to the black sleeve all right so the first uh, the first test we're going to do is going to be uh, brown to purple okay so we're going to do yellow to black so brown and these wires are really hard to tell but that's brown <laughs> that's white and then that's purple okay so we're going to do brown to purple okay so brown and we're going to purple okay so that's 1200 Okay, so that's good. All right. And the second one, we're going from white to brown. Right here, white. It's brown. All right, 1,200 again. And the last one, we're going from purple to white. Purple. All right, purple to white. And bang. So all of them are reading around 1200 ohms of resistance. And this test, uh, I forgot to mention, that this test, this does need to be, it, it can be on the engine, but all these wires need to be disconnected from the switch box. That's important. Or else it's going to give you faulty readings. So pretty easy test. Uh, like I said, you can do it uh, pretty much everywhere. You just get this uh, basic meter. You can get it from any, uh, any hardware store, any automotive store. So pretty easy. All right. Well, if you have any questions, uh, just leave them in the comments or if you have anything to add. Yeah, thanks for watching.